All right, today we're learning about how to do research for a project. You're going to do this this year. You're going to do it every year. You're in school. You're going to do it when you're a grown-up if you have a good job. You're going to have, hopefully, a job where you're learning things and then you're presenting it to someone else. When I say research for a project, that sounds maybe to some of you guys like it's a little scary at first or it's like this big, hard assignment. I'm going to show you how to do it for a little, tiny, easy assignment right now. And then hopefully you'll learn the process, and you'll be able to take that to a bigger, harder project. What am I talking about? Let's say that Mr. Bedley says, uh, I want you to do a uh, PowerPoint presentation on rattlesnakes. How many of you are interested in rattlesnakes besides Brandon? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, rattlesnakes are pretty scary, right? There's been a bunch of them around near my house lately, and I don't know much about them. I have my neighbors going out and taking pictures of these big old rattlesnakes going across the road. I think they're looking for water, but I'm not sure. And I want to learn a little bit more about them, and I want to teach other people about rattlesnakes, and I'm going to do it in the form of a PowerPoint presentation. Or let's say you're just going to write a paragraph, and some of you aren't paying attention. I know you're playing with your iPads. And you, and you want to know something to put in your paragraph. It's not just going to come out of the top of your head. Like when you guys wrote about your favorite place, that just came out of your head. When you wrote about your bedroom, it just came out of your head. When you wrote about, what else did you guys write about? Help me out. Recess, right? When you wrote about recess, that just came out of your head. You didn't have to look anything up to write about recess. But if you want to write about something that takes a little more intelligence, you might have to do what's called research, which means you're just simply learning about it. That's all research is, learning about it. There's four things I want you to know, and these would probably go in your left column, and then over in the right column, you can either draw a picture, you can write an explanation, something that helps you to remember it in the right column. So in the left column, here are the four things that you're going to do for research. All right, first of all, you are going to read on your topic. You need to stay on topic. Read on topic and understand. Uh-oh, I hope I can fit this in here. I'm going to put underst because I'm running out of space on my screen. Read on the topic. Stay on topic. Don't go and read about king snakes or about lizards or about deserts and get off the topic of rattlesnakes. We want to stay on the topic. And then the second thing that you're going to do is when you find something to read you're going to write down the source which might be the title this could go in the right column you could put right you could put title in the right column title or maybe your website You want to keep track of where you got your information. The third thing you're going to do is you're going to take some notes. We're going to write the keywords only. This is the part that kids really get confused on when they're doing research. They start writing down everything that they read. And if you're going to do that, you might as well just print it out on your printer. And then you've got it all written down. But when we take notes, we only write down the keywords, the most important words. I'm going to model this for you in just a second. And then you're going to take your keywords. I'm going to draw a little arrow down to here. And you're going to organize your notes by subtopic. So you're going to take the ideas and you're going to bunch them together. Think of it this way. Rattlesnakes. Here. Let me draw a little picture here in the corner. You might not necessarily be doing this on your notes, although you could too. You have rattlesnakes as your green. Oh, let me actually make that the color. Ooh, getting fancy now. Okay, this is green. And then you're going to come up with a subtopic. Oops. 
Your first subtopic is kind of like your what, everybody? Yellow. Yellow, good. So I'm going to make this yellow. And then you might come up with another subtopic, which is like? Red. No. That's another yellow, right? And so on. You might have several subtopics. Now, once you start explaining about each one of those subtopics, those are all your reds. Okay, I don't really have room to do that in there. And then after you've done all... Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then after you've done all your subtopics, you would then go back to the idea of your rattlesnakes again. We don't know what those subtopics are going to be yet because we haven't done our research. And that's back to what color? Green. Green, good. So you go back to green on that. Now the reds are in there, but we haven't talked about the reds yet. Those are going to be all the details that go along with your subtopics. Now let's say again that I'm researching on rattlesnakes. And I look up this website. Here's a picture that I took of a website that I learned about rattlesnakes. I went to Google. I typed in the word rattlesnakes. And it brought up several websites. I clicked on one that looked good. I skimmed the page with my eyes. I go, oh, that one looks like what, it's talking about, what I wanted to talk about. Information about rattlesnakes. I skipped right over the Wikipedia one, which is the first one. Because Wikipedia can be not very reliable. People can go in and write anything they want to about rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes can grow to be 50 feet long. They can put that on Wikipedia, even though that's not true. And so I'm not too sure if I can trust in Wikipedia. So I skipped over to this one that looks like it's an official government page, which I think I can trust a little bit more than I can trust Wikipedia. And it has a little paper here on, on rattlesnakes. Now, what's the first step? Look at your notes. What do I do first when I'm doing research? Good, so I'm going to read about rattlesnakes in California, and then I'm going to write, if I like what I'm reading and I'm understanding it, then I'm going to go to step two, which is to? Write the source. Write the source, right? What is the source of this? D? F-G. Good, Hannah got it first. D, F, G, some of you might not be able to read that because it's pretty small. We're talking about the URL right up here, D, F, G. So I am going to write down the name of the website. In this case, it's the dfg.ca.gov, just that first part. I don't need to write down all the rest of that because the main idea is that of the website is that first part up there. All right, then I'm going to read it. I'm going to see if I can understand this because some things on the Internet you're going to read and you're not going to be able to understand, right? I mean, I can't re understand some things on the Internet. If I go to some medical website where some, that some doctors wrote, I'm going to be reading it going, what? I can't even understand this stuff. And especially when you're a fourth or fifth grader, there's going to be quite a few things you can't understand. Let's read this together. As springtime calls People. and snakes alike to the Outdoors. encounters with snakes become inevitable. Whew, pretty hard. Let's not give up after the first sentence, though, okay? California has a variety of snakes. Did you understand that part? Yeah, okay. Most of which are benign. Is this easy? No. no. The exception is California's only native venomous snake, the rattlesnake. Are you understanding that first paragraph pretty easily? Some of you are, some of you aren't. Let's just say that most of us are not understanding that. We do not want to take notes on this if we cannot understand it. We're not just here to write notes. We're here to keep track. Now listen, this is one of the most important things you're going to hear in this lesson. One of the most important things you're going to hear all day. One of the most important things you're going to hear all week. We are not doing research just to take notes so that the teacher can look at our notes and say, Oh, good little girl, you took notes. Aren't you a good little girl? Oh, look at all those notes you took. Good boy, and pat you on the head. You are doing research so that you can learn. And if I read this, Phoenix, and I can't learn, then I'm wasting my time. Don't take any notes on it. Let's move on to the next thing. So I've got a blank here, to, blank page to take notes on. I'm not going to take any notes for that part. Now let's take a look at this part, this website that I clicked on. 
This is called the California Herps. I bet those H-E-R-P-S stands for something. It's probably an abbreviation. Dot com. So I'm going to write down the name of that website if this web page helps me. Some of you are being distracted right now. Make sure you're focused up here. Okay, and it says up here, one, Western Diamondback. And everybody read along with me. Large, found in the southern deserts in the southeast corner of the States. Large rattlesnake, found in the southeast desert. Does your brain make sense out of that? The southeast desert. Okay, the, this rattlesnake has black and white Green. around the tail. Some of you are reading, some of you aren't. Come on. The rings are about equal in? Red. Okay, stop and think about that. Do you understand what it's telling you there? Have we hit any hard parts yet? No. I'm understanding this okay, aren't I? And then read it. Active day and? Night. Ooh, active day and night. I've heard of animals that are only active at night. Those are called? Nocturnal. Good. And the animals that are only active in the daytimes, most of you probably don't know this word. Who knows it? Raise your hand. What do you call an animal that's only active in the... It's called nocturnal for the nighttime. Does anybody know what it's called for the daytime? Nobody knows it. You all get to learn a new word, which I'm a little bit off topic right here, but it's called diurnal. Everybody say diurnal. Diurnal. Those are, you and I are diurnal. We're active in the daytime. Uh, owls are nocturnal because they're active at nighttime, right? Rattlesnakes are both. They're active in the daytime and the nighttime. That makes it extra scary. Okay, let's keep reading. For tips on distinguishing the, this species. Is it too small maybe for some of you guys? Let me click off of this. And, ooh, there we go. From the similar northern Mojave Desert. rattlesnake right here. Click on the link under the photo. Oh, okay. Did I learn anything from reading that about snakes? Yeah. I learned some stuff about rattlesnakes. So now let's take some notes on it. Remember the first thing I'm going to write down is the name of the? Snake. 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 Website. 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 The source, where I got it from. So I'm going to go to the next. Okay. Oops. Turn that off. Can you remember that? Website when I go now normally you're I mean you guys are going to be looking go ahead and write it down actually you don't have to remember it I have to remember it when I go to the next page so write down CaliforniaHerps.com you're going to write this like underneath your notes down at the bottom we're going to practice taking notes on your notes we're practicing taking notes as if we're doing research on CaliforniaHerps.com and the first kind of snake that I learned about only keywords is the Western Diamondback, right? So we're going to write down Western Diamondback. Now I'm going to show you how to take these notes in just a second. You can compare your notes to my notes. But once I turn to the next page uh, that I'm going to take notes on, I, I won't be able to come back to this without my video getting all messed up. So um, let's see what we're going to write about them. Um, it says large rattlesnake. Should I take a note on that? Talk to your neighbor. Should I take a note on that one? Okay, let's vote. Thumbs. Should I take a note on large rattlesnakes? I'm saying yes. But do I need to write down large rattlesnakes? The whole thing is about rattlesnakes. So all I have to do is write down one word, which is large. Okay. You can write that down. I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Found in the southern deserts of the southeast corner of the state. Is that important? Yeah. You know, for that one, I might be able to just draw a, uh, a little picture, like a little map of it to, to do that. So draw a real quick outline of California on your notes, if you can do that. I see that. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Imad just drew it. He's got some sort of an app going where he can draw a picture of it. Now, you guys that can't draw a picture of it because you're taking notes on Notepad or something, then write, let's write down some key words. It's in the southern deserts, right? Southern deserts. So all you're going to write is southern deserts. You're not going to think that that is talking about where you're going on vacation because you know it's about rattlesnakes, that they're in the southern deserts. And they're in the 
southeast corner. So put southeast corner. Yes. It's not true. It's not true. They're in the western corner. Well, they're in the western part of the United States, but they're in the California. This is a California rattlesnake. Um, so we're going to write down southeast corner. And what state are they in the southeast corner of? California. California. What can we do to abbreviate California? We can write two letters. What are they? C-A. C-A. So just put southeast corner, C-A. Did you write of? Hello. Did you write of? No. No. Did you write the? No. No. All you're writing is southeast. And you could even abbreviate that if you know how to abbreviate southeast. Who knows how to abbreviate southeast? Good. Those of you that do, abbreviate it. All you have to do is write two letters, right? S-E. S-E, and then put corner, C-A, and that's your notes. All right. I'm going to go over to those notes now, and we'll come back to this page. All right, what else? We learn that they have a black and white rings around the tail. Should I take notes on that? Yep, okay, let's go. All right, uh, the rings are about equal in width. Should I take notes on that? Yeah, let's go ahead and take some notes. On it. it says active day night, day and night for tips on distinguishing the speed. Blah, 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 blah. Click on the link under the photo above. Anything else I should write down? Talk to your neighbor and decide if there's any other notes I should take. Go. And I'm going to start taking notes. Oh, we I forgot. Um, so my notes are going to say I'm taking notes on rattlesnakes. So it might help if you wrote down what you're taking notes on. If you didn't do that yet, write that down up here. You can even do two column notes. And then I'm going to write the name of the website. What was the name of the website again? California Herps, and I'm not writing super neatly, mainly because I'm on an iPad, but I'm taking notes here. I don't need to write super neatly as long as I can read them. So at California Herps, I'm going to put a little one by it. If you didn't do that yet, put a little one by that. So you remember that all the notes for this first part come from CaliforniaHerps.com. And then I'm going to put a little dash under here, and the first thing I'm going to write is large, right? Okay, if you didn't do it like this, that's okay. Just kind of learn from your mistakes. And then I learned that they come from the southeast corner. Oh, I forgot deserts, huh? They come from the southeast corner of CA, California. I put it in capital so that I would remember that that means California. I skipped one note, and it probably doesn't matter if I put it in this order. Uh, what, did I, what, what did you guys put? Desert? Southern deserts? Southern. Now, did you spell deserts correctly? Because if you put two S's in there, it's what word? Desserts. Desserts, right. Southern deserts in the southeast corner. All right. And now I'm going to go back and look at my existing. I also learned that they have black. Should I write the word and? Is that a key word? And? No. I'm going to put a slash like this. You could put a little dash or a slash. White. What's the next keyword? Rings. Rings. Good. Everybody write rings. Oops. Is that it? Are they have black and white rings all over their whole body? Where are the black and white tail. rings? Tail. tail. Should I put on or no? Just tail. If you understood it, you'll remember what this means. There's black. In fact, you might even be able to remember the tail part without writing the tail part. But let's go ahead and put tail. And then what else did I learn about the way that they look? Did I get anything else yet? Let's go back here. Okay. So I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an arrow from this one. And I'm going to write two words. What two words should I write? Equal, Equal no width. width. Good. Equal width. So I remember what I learned. I'm not taking notes to teach me something. The notes are there to remember what I already read and learned. All right, let's go back and see if there's any. So you guys want to add to that uh, the notes here? What three words would you put? 
Everybody? Active, Active day, 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 night. All right, so now I have notes on from my CaliforniaHerps.com. I want you to take those notes, and I want you to talk to your neighbor and tell them what all those notes mean. Don't just read your notes. Explain it in, like, full explanations based on what you're seeing there. So take turns giving information. Don't one person dominate the conversation. Go. Okay, I know you didn't have enough time. I'm cutting you off before you had enough time. I just realized I forgot to put something very important on my notes. Anybody figure out what that very important thing is that I left off my notes? Look, CaliforniaHerbs.com, large southeast corner of California, southern deserts, black, white... I didn't put the main idea on this whole part. Who knows what main idea I left off? They're poisonous. Did I read that they were poisonous? Not in this part, right? But thank you for giving me an answer. I left off the main idea. Western Diamondbacks. They're the, called the Western Diamondbacks. These aren't about all rattlesnakes. Only Western Diamondbacks have the rings on their tail, right? Yes. The all rattlesnakes, um, it's not their tail, it's their rattle that has them. Right, but this is all about the western diamondback. There might be other rattlesnakes that have the same thing, but this is telling me about... The, so what I'm going to do is go down the side right here and write western diamond. Most of you don't know how to spell because it's really weird. Diamond. Western Diamondbacks. I'm going to write that. Now, if you are typing this, you can just insert this above large. Someplace up, th right up in here, you can, if you're typing, you can just insert that in there. Right above large, put in Western Diamondbacks. And I would make it in all caps or make it bold or somehow show that that is the main idea of this section. I put it on the side because all these little dashes have to do with Western Diamondbacks. Okay, now I'm going to go on to my next page for research. Here's another page that I found. It's from DesertUSA.com. Genus Crotalis. And it has some questions here. Let's see if we can understand this. What are the symptoms of rattlesnake? Bites. How can I protect my dog and other pet pets from rattlesnake bites? How can I keep? Rattlesnake. Out of my... The rattlesnake video. Now this has to do with some practical things about rattlesnakes, right? Not just like learning about them as a species or as a science standpoint, but as a human being that's having to live with rattlesnakes around them like you and me. How do we do this? Hmm. Okay, venomous snakes. Throughout the world. We're right up here. Those of you who have your eyes down, we're right up here. There are many snakes. whose venomous Bye. can be Fatal. two. Retell that to your neighbor if you understand it. Go. Okay. Now we're trying to do research on rattlesnakes. Is that telling us about rattlesnakes? Mm, kind of. It's telling us about the general idea of fatal snakes, venomous snakes. But that's not just about rattlesnakes. That's about all snakes that might be poisonous. So I'm going to probably not take any notes on that yet. Let's go down to the next part. It says, in the United States. See where I am right here? Right. Yeah. Okay. Right there. Okay. Look at your eyes up there. Put your eyes up there. However, there are only four. Oh, there's only four venomous snakes in the United States. States, United States. <laughs> I bet one of them is called a rattlesnake, right? Let's keep going. Keep reading with me now. Don't be a, a slacker who's got their eyes in the wrong place. Including the? Coral snake. The copperhead. The cottonmouth water? Moccasin. Moccasin. That sounds like a scary snake. And the? Rattlesnake. Did that tell me about rattlesnakes? Yes. Maybe. Let's take a note on that. Okay, let's go to our page. Oh, what page is this from? What website? Desert. 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 Okay, Desert. Add to this. All right, I'm under rattlesnake, rattlesnake description and big, huge word. What does that word say? Identification. 
Okay? Everybody read this inside your head. That little paragraph above the picture. Ready? Go. Uh. Some of you are not following directions. Okay, tell your neighbor what you just read about right now. Go. All right, now we're going to take notes on this part of this. So go ahead and write down some little notes for yourself, and then I'm going to take your ideas and see what you came up with for notes. Just write down key words. What did we learn about rattlesnakes from this? Don't write down, if you didn't understand it, don't take any notes on it either. Only the stuff you understood, and only the most important words. So write that down someplace, because I'm going to switch off this page. Everybody write down some notes. You can talk to your neighbor and kind of work, collaborate with your neighbor on that. Go. I wrote down four different little notes on this part. Four different little notes. See what you did. Talk to your neighbor about it. It's okay to talk. So we're going to write that down first as our as our heading here. We're on number two now. This is from Desert. Don't write dessert. USA.com. And I'm going to even underline that to make it stand out more. And the first thing that I'm learning is just basically about rattlesnakes, so I don't have to write that it's a Western something or other, you know. Yes? For people who have iPads, can we uh, make a new page? You can do whatever you need to do in order to have notes on this. Attention, boys and girls. All righty. First thing that we learned about rattlesnakes in general is that they're one of four venomous in the USA, right? There's my first note. One of four venomous snakes in the USA. Now I'm going to go back and continue looking. Did anybody write this one down? Good, good. There's 32. Now, I don't have to write known because that's not an important word. The main idea is that there are 32 different kinds of rattlesnakes out there. 32 different kinds. Is that surprising to anybody? That's surprising to me. 32 different kinds of rattlesnakes. I would have guessed there were maybe 8 or 10 different kinds of rattlesnakes. But 32, not 32 rattlesnakes, boys and girls. 32 different species of rattlesnakes. Different kinds of rattlesnakes. You have the western, what was it called? The western Diamondback. copper? Diamondback. Western diamond, which I think is what we have around here, right? You have all, you have 32 different kinds. That's shocking. Okay, the next note I took is that they are all different colors. It said it had a variety of colors, so I'm changing it to different colors. I'm writing it in my own words so that I can remember that. Anybody say something about the colors? Variety, colors, or something like that? Awesome, awesome. My next note is having to do with the head. Who took a note having to do with their head? Good, and you could even do this since you're taking notes. Anybody actually do that? Ah, now if you're typing on a notes page, you can't type that in. But you could just write triangular head or draw a picture of a triangle. And how many of you took notes having to do with their rattles? Good. I put jointed rattles down. Did anybody put that exact same thing? Awesome. You do not need to put the word tail. Those of you that put the word tail, really you're going to go to write your paper and you're going to forget that the rattles are on their tail. You're going to think that they're on their head or their arm. Where else would their rattles be besides on their tail? So don't write down something that's that obvious. Just the key words that are going to help you to remember what you learned. Remember, the most important thing I've taught you so far, your notes are there to help you to remember what you learned. Look at your neighbor and tell them why do we take notes. Can you take notes on something you did not learn? No. no. You've got to learn it first, 
then take notes on it. Okay, the last step, look on your notes back at the very beginning of when I started teaching this lesson. The last step that we're going to do is we're going to do what with our notes? Organize. organize it. We're going to organize it the way I've taught you to organize paragraphs. So, I want you to discuss with your neighbor. You're going to have to look back at your notes from the two websites we went to, the first one and the second one, and think, how can you bunch the information together? You might take one thing from this page and one thing from another page and say, oh, these belong together. Oh, this idea and this idea, they belong together. How could you bunch the ideas together into subtopics, into topics about rattlesnakes? Pay attention. Some of you lost your attention. You're not grouping them into the idea of rattlesnakes. The whole thing is about rattlesnakes. But you might group it into something about rattlesnakes. Not a specific detail, but a detail. Look at me. Here's a detail. Here's a detail. Here's another detail. These all belong together. Kind of like, let's say you've got a whole bucket full of marbles. Right? And you say, I want to put these marbles into groups. Oh, look, all these marbles have the cat's eye part. You know what I'm talking about? That little funky, wavy thing in the inside? They all have cat's eyes. They're all different colors, but they all have cat's eye things in them. Let's put all those over here. Oh, let's put all of our uh, ones that are just clear, crystal, all the way through over here. Oh, let's put all the ones that are color crystal over here, all different kinds of color crystal. So you're bunching them things that belong together. Think about how you organize your dresser, like we talked about before with writing. You don't put a pair of socks, a pair of underwear, a pair of pants, and a shirt all in one drawer. You put all the socks in one drawer. You put all the chonies in another drawer. You put all of the shirts in a drawer. You put all the shorts in a drawer, right? That's what you're going to do with this. Decide how you're going to take the bits of information and group them together so they make sense together with your neighbor. Anybody confused? Okay. And you, by the way, you can throw stuff out. Yes, you can throw. When you take notes, if you use, Nancy, good eye contact, if you use everything that you took notes on, you don't get it. You should take some of your notes and say, this does not fit in any of my groups. I'm not going to use it. I'm chucking it out of here. Raise your hand if you're with me. Okay. That's kind of like you're sorting your clothes. Socks, socks, chonies, shirt, socks, shirt, pants. What? This is my mom's. Get this out of here. <laughs> Socks, shirt, right? You're going to come across something. What's that doing in my basket? It doesn't belong in here. You guys are going to come across some bits of information and go, that doesn't fit in any of my baskets that I'm getting this stuff organized into. We're not going to use that at all. On your mark. Get set. Go. Okay, okay we're going to work on this together now because uh, this is, I think there's a real clear way to put this into two groups. I think we learned about all rattlesnakes, and I think we learned about one species of rattlesnake. Anybody figure that out with their partner? If you did, you're way ahead of the game. You are very advanced. We learned about two things. So everybody is going to write like a separate note. If you can draw a picture, do it like this. If you can't, mm, let me do it because I know. How many of you can draw a picture right now? How many of you cannot draw a picture? You're on a notes page where you just can't draw anything. Okay, if you can, can you switch out of the app? Here, let me pause. Everybody's going to, right in the middle, you're going to write a circle that says rattlesnakes in it. That's one word, by the way, rattlesnakes. Okay, and then that's your topic. We're going to branch off of that. I'm going to change this to yellow. Actually, I'm going to write in uh, blue at this point. And I'm going to say all uh, U.S., all in the U.S. Okay, and then over here, oh, I shouldn't have put that with blue. I was going to do that in yellow. Over here, I'm going to do the Western Diamondback. Is that what it's called? Notice I'm writing the words first and then I'm circling them because I don't know how much space it's going to take up. And let me color these. I'm going to change this to yellow. And I'm just going to put some yellow in here. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I'm going to put some yellow in here so I remember that all this stuff is my yellows. 
Now we can actually read red, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to red. And I'm going to take this idea of all you. What did I learn about all U.S.? First of all, there are four different. Did I write down that there's four different kinds of poisonous snakes in the U.S.? So I'm going to put four kinds venomous right here. Right? Four kinds of venomous snakes in the U.S. It's one of four. And then what else did I learn about rattlesnakes? They all have, there are 32 species, right? So I'm going to put that right here. And I learned that they have triangular heads. So I'm going to put a triangle with the word heads right here. And let's do one more thing here. I learned that they have joint, what, what did they call it? Joined rattles? Jointed. Jointed. Jointed rattles. And that's joined to that as well. And then for my Western Diamondback, I learned several things about that. What did I learn about the Western Diamondbacks? Notice how I'm getting this all organized for my presentation. Southeast corner of okay. California. Southeast, I'm going to just put Southeast CA. And what else did I learn about the Western Diamondbacks? Come on, help me out here. You can look at your notes. You guys that are on paper. Should be easy. That was great. Look at uh, McKenna flipped her paper over to the back side to write on it back there. That was awesome. What else did we learn about Western Diamondbacks? They're large. They're large. Good. It's a very large rattlesnake. Large and in charge. Okay, what else did I learn about Western Diamondbacks? Active day and night. Okay, there we go. Active. Oops. day, night. Okay, I'm going to put B and W for black and white because I think we can remember that. Rings. And they're all the same width, right? I'm going to write width just so I remember to talk about their width too. Bam. Notice I'm connecting all of these to the Western Diamondback. Now that I've done that, I have a big, old, fat, juicy, wonderful paragraph that I can write on this, don't I? Do you see it? Okay, I want you, as the last thing of our lesson today, to use those notes to speak the paragraph back. Speak that paragraph. Start and end, oops, that shouldn't be in red. Start and end, S and E, start and end with the middle. Start at the middle, you're going to go out, hmm, let me get rid of that color. I'm going to go with gray right now, there we go. Okay, you're going to start here, and then you're going to go out here. D does it make sense to talk about all the rattlesnakes first, or the western diamondback first? Talk to your neighbor, which one would make more sense to talk about first? Okay, show me, right here, one finger, all, all the poisonous rattlesnakes in the, the United States, two fingers, western diamondbacks. Which one do you want to talk about first? Okay, most of you figured it out. This is the correct answer. You don't want to talk about one type and then talk about all of them that exist. You want to talk about all of them and then narrow it down to one specific type of, of rattlesnake. That makes much more sense to organize it that way. So first you're going to go to here, and then... After you go here, you could pretty much do these in any order you want to. Although I would do this one first, the way that they had it in the, where we read. And then this other stuff probably doesn't really matter. And then you're going to come over to here after that, to the Western Diamondback, and talk about all these different things having to do with the Western Diamondback. Probably the order doesn't matter that much. And then you go back to the idea of rattlesnakes to wrap up your paper. So talk your paragraph. Ready? Go.
All right, I'm going to go over this with you now. I know you didn't have time to get through everything, but I want to show you how I would do this so that you guys get the idea since this is the first time we've done this. I am not going to give you the greatest sentences in the world, but notice that each one of these, I'm going to give you one sentence for it. So if you have your iPad right now, just flip it down. I just want you completely paying attention up here. Put your pencils down. Everything's focused right here, okay? Uh, I'm not going to promise you that my sentences are going to be the greatest. We're not worried about that right now. We're just getting the ideas out there. No wonderful vocabulary or whatever. Just get the ideas going. So I'm going to say rattlesnakes are one of the most feared animals on the face of the earth. That's my topic sentence. You can tell I'm going to talk about rattlesnakes now. It's kind of like an opinion sentence. That's okay. Then I'm going to go to this one over here. Um, there are rattlesnakes all over the United States. Notice I have one sentence for that. Notice I did not join the blue circle, the yellow right here, with any of the reds. Some of you went right to some of these reds. I do not do that. I can join the reds together. Ooh, this is a big idea. Are you listening? I can take two of the reds and put them into one sentence, but I'm not going to join the yellow with one of the reds. The yellow has to be a separate sentence all by itself. Then I'm going to talk about all my red stuff, which I can combine together. That's okay. Let's see. I think it makes sense to talk about this one next. Uh, rattlesnakes are one of four kinds of venomous snakes found in the United States. There are 32 species of rattlesnakes. They have triangular shaped heads. And... I'm going to join it with this one. See, I can put these two reds together. And jointed rattles on their tails. Now I'm coming over to this one here. One species of rattlesnake is called the western diamondback. It, now watch how I, that's one sentence. Watch how I join these together. It is a large rattlesnake that is found in the southeastern corner of California in the deserts of the southeastern corner of California. I just changed it. So I combined these two together right here in one sentence. Western diamondbacks have black and white rings of equal width on their tails. They are active both day and night. As you can see, rattlesnakes are more than just scary creatures. Bam! Tell your neighbor what was better about my paragraph than about your paragraph right now. Go. Yeah.